it into a flower and then I put it on the dress. Oh wow. So there's over 3,500 different flowers on here right How now. How long did it take to do that? Uh, I've been working on it for about two and a half years. So oh I'm notoriously bad about clocking in. Um, I, the last time I clocked in, I was at 550 hours. So for the 11th time and the first time since 2018, Grand Rapids is hosting Art Prize. Over 140 locations here in the city are displaying art. Let's go check it out. Hi, my name is Wendy Popko and I'm at Art Prize. <laughs> Talk about what Art Prize means to artists. It's a wonderful opportunity for artists to meet other artists. It's a wonderful opportunity to network, and it's a fantastic opportunity to show or share what you do in your craft. I'm excited to be here, uh, meeting all the, the different, you know, just visitors. It's everything, you know, just being able to just express yourself and just display your art. It's a great experience. Have you got from people? Oh, it's been amazing. A lot of people taking pictures here in the middle, and it's been great. Like, so many people like congratulating me. And actually, I uh, yesterday won a thousand dollars for uh, they reward artists randomly throughout Art Prize. And I was like, wow, I was so amazed. I'm like, Cause last year, or last Art Prize, you uh, the top art basically the top prize won, but nobody else did. So it was kind of like discouraging for small artists. So this time they're rewarding small cash prizes to all artists, which makes it much better because then it has an incentive for small artists to go to Art Prize. If, if someone's never been to Art Prize, how would you describe it? Um, well, it's very lively. There's a lot going on. Um, there's not, you're basically submerged in this, um, you're submerged in like an art gallery. You're not just going into a building to see art, but you are submerged in this um, in this environment filled with art. So you'll see artwork on the streets, you'll see murals, and you'll see um, signs everywhere posted. Now this year it's a little bit smaller. They had to pull back a little bit because of you know the pandemic, but I am so thrilled that they had it this year because last year they had to cancel it and this year they went forward with it and um, I think they did a phenomenal job for the artists so I'm very pleased with what they've done for us. Oh, what is the process? So, um, basically, the beginning of spring, the venues sign up to support and and give these uh, pieces of artwork a temporary home. And then, once the venues have been selected, then the artists can um, submit their proposal or their entry idea to be considered an art prize artist. And then um, once you uh, fill out all the applications and everything, then you need to find a venue who will 
bring in your artwork. So Art Prize does not do that. That is something that the artist might must do. And there's a lot of rejection. <laughs> um, but we were really fortunate to find a location here at the Atwater Brewery. Not only are they super supportive, they're really nice, so I really appreciate the opportunity to showcase the illustrations here. What would you say to somebody who's never been to Art Prize before they could come down here? Um, you're going to see things that will blow your mind. Things that you would not think would be possible or you would see things that you might say, wow, you know, I can't believe someone came up with this type, with, it's so creative that they came up with this or how did they engineer that? And um, that's why I love it because you just never know what you're gonna find at Art Prize. And the mission statements, the mission statements of some of these pieces are so powerful. So there's still time for you to get out here to Grand Rapids and see some of this amazing artwork. It goes until October 3rd, so make sure you get out here and see this beautiful art. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like icon, share it with all your friends. Also follow me on social media, and of course you can see more of my work at ronrobinsonstudios.com. Until next time. So our entry, because I came in as a team, it's not just me this year. Um, normally I am a one woman show, but um, this year I wanted to team up with Janice Campbell and Kathy Collision because they are the authors of Meet the Pets. So they both uh, worked on this book. They are a very talented um, writing duo and I feel fortunate to work with them on this piece and I illustrated their pages um, so we came in as a team for this for this piece and basically this book is a celebration of the pets that have stayed in the White House